Hello, this is Peter. Thanks for listening to today's episode of Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Voice Over Voice. Today, the voice enemies of aircon, car phones and coughing. Yeah, aircon, first things first. A dry throat can be caused by heating or air conditioning. In your home, your office, your train, plane, car. Try getting more natural air into your life. Or invest in a humidifier. Your throat will thank you for it. Car phones, yeah, you tend to talk louder on them as the mic is further from your mouth. And because the signal may be not good, so you're talking to someone else who's also on a mobile, and to counteract the ambient traffic noise. So be careful if you're talking on your car phone. And coughing. Yeah, coughing. Coughing is a complicated reflex action to clear the airway. Inhalation, forceful exhalation against closed vocal cords, and then that violent release. A large inhale, almost filling the lungs, the glottis at the back of the throat closing, the stomach walls contract, the glottis open suddenly with an upward heave of the diaphragm, air forced out by three different stomach muscles at the rate of 50 miles an hour across your cords. Not nice. So if you have a tickle, don't hack because that will inflame your vocal cords even more. Simply swallow hard, preferably with some warm water. Excessive throat clearing can be down to a dry throat, possibly because of an unrecognised allergy or because you've developed a habit of clearing your throat. Banging your very vulnerable vocal cords together is violence against your voice. It causes damage to your delicate throat tissue and possible development of nodules or polyps. Instead, retrain your brain to either swallow, lick your lips or pause for a sip of room temperature water in place of clearing your throat, because then that has the dual advantage of calming the tickle and keeping you hydrated at the same time. And this all kind of links in with hoarseness. A a rough, husky, croaky voice could be caused by the common cold, laryngitis infection, chronic laryngitis, so that's repetitive bouts of laryngitis, usually with a fever caused by regular voice misuse. It could be cancer. So go to a doctor if you're still hoarse after a couple of weeks. Continual hoarse talk could lead to a swelling of the vocal cords and other problems. Self-medication may include vocal rest and for necessary talking do so with a soft breathy voice, not a strained whisper. Don't push hard on those glottal consonants and have lots of sleep which will mean forced voiced rest and mental rest too. Oh, and inhale steam. Again, a regular reminder that although I know that fear is a big delayer, if something hurts, seek advice. You need to fix the underlying problems, not the cough itself, but what's causing that cough. More advice on the way on Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Voice Over Voice. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. Bye.